An important thing to remember about avocados is that they should be cleaned right before you're ready to use them. The first thing you'll do is carefully insert a small knife and cut around the outside of the pit. You open the avocado, nick into the pit with your knife, catch it and loosen the pit and then drop the pit out. From this point, the avocado is completely ready to start processing. You can, if you need a half avocado, use a large spoon, carefully loosen the avocado from its skin, and now you have a full half avocado that would be ready for slicing or for using as a whole, a full half that you're gonna stuff. Another thing that you can do to process avocados is if you need it to be diced, just dice it directly in the skin. It's safe, you don't have to deal with a slippery product, no gloves needed necessarily, and you can dice it the size you want. And then from this point, again, scoop the dices out of the shell with a spoon and they're ready to go. One of the things about avocados that makes working with them so tricky is that they oxidize very quickly. If I needed to hold this avocado for any prolonged period of time, I could take a lime and roll the lime a little bit to get it juicy, cut the lime in half, and then carefully drizzle some drops of lime juice over the avocado. An alternative to peeling the avocado the way I originally showed you would be to, after it's split and seeded, and just carefully pull back on the avocado skin, removing it in pieces as it will naturally tear. If you find that there are some small blemishes, you can usually just scrape them away to clean up the surface of the avocado. You could also use this process for slicing the avocado or dicing it, but you'll find that this method can make a mess on your board and is usually only used for when you're creating a fan.